Hi, I'm Mrs. Suhaka here at Rhodes Elementary teaching second grade. Our inquiry question is, what is gravity? Here to introduce Rick Croslin. Thanks for that great introduction. And I see that you guys have been studying a lot about what is gravity. Huh, it makes all objects attracted to each other. Well, there must be a lot of gravity in this room because I'm already attracted to you guys and learning this. Well, today's lesson, we're gonna take a step kind of outside the classroom. In fact, we're gonna do a couple activities here and then we got a surprise scientist that's gonna join us. I wonder who that could be. Okay, if you're gonna study gravity, you have to study a scientist by the name of Galileo, who was an Italian scientist who lived in 1589, which is a long time ago. And he studied how bodies fall. Before that, there was a scientist named Aristotle. This is a really older guy, a couple thousand years ago. And he said that if you have something light and something heavy, if you drop them, the heavy thing would go faster. What do you think? That uh, they will fall at the same time. They'll fall at the same time. Does anybody think they'll fall at the same time? Well, you know what? I'm taking a look at everybody here. And so you guys are with Galileo or with Aristotle? Galileo. Galileo. Okay. Well, you know what? Why don't we test that? You want to you wanna go outside and test it? Yes. All right. Let's do that. So we've gone outside to do something special. And I have a proclamation that came all the way from Italy, from the Leaning Tower of Pisa. And it says, On this day in 1589, Galileo dropped two spheres of different masses to show that they fell at the same time. He disproved Aristotle's theory of gravity. Aristotle thought that a heavy thing would fall fast, but not Galileo. Are you with Aristotle? Are you with Galileo? Galileo! Oh, I've got some of my assistants here from Italy. They've come all the way to Italy to test this idea. I have two spheres here. One doesn't have very much mass. The other one, really heavy. On the count of three, everybody say, gravity pulls. One, two, two three. Gravity pulls! Which one hit first? Oh, Both. Oh, but you know, that wasn't very high. Maybe I should increase the height. What do you think? Yeah! All right. Here we go. I'm going higher and higher. Is this high enough? Here we go. On the count. Ready? On the count of one, two, three, gravity pulls. Tell me which one hits first. One, two, three. Gravity pulls. Pulls. Is that high enough? That's as high as my ladder will go. Oh, let's use these guys. They have some experiments. Let's pick it on up. The higher we go, it should still work, right? Let's find out. Okay. Hey, the water up there. Right Is that high enough? Galileo is correct. These two bottles should 
drop at the same time. Are you ready, Galileo? Three, two, one. outside and tried some experiments. What did you learn? I learned that when you got higher and higher, the bars keep dropping on itself. And um, the first that pulls yes. it down, it keeps dropping um, at the same time. At the same time. And that force was the force of? Gravity. Gravity. Okay, so 
Let's do that experiment again. This one didn't work too good. What happened when we dropped these two? The, the hammer fell to the ground and that was, feather. that feather was just going slowly. Going slowly. What do you think slowed the feather down? Um, you can call on somebody to help. What do you think? Yeah. The air. Let's try that again inside. You hold this feather by the tip. Is that okay? That's a, uh, a bird feather. Yeah, and you stand right here and hold a hammer and hold them as high as you can. If you don't land on my toe <laughs> or your toe, hold it straight out. And let's go. Everybody softly. We're going to say three, two, one, gravity pulls. Three, two, one, gravity pulls. What do you see? They both fell down at the same time. You know, I told you they did this experiment on the moon. Let's take a look at that up on our YouTube channel. So here is a video of David Scott, an Apollo astronaut. They landed on the moon and their ship was called the Falcon. Let's see what they do. A woman named Galileo a long time ago who made a rather significant discovery about falling objects in gravity fields. And we thought that uh, where would be a better place to confirm his uh, findings than on the moon. And uh, so we thought we'd try it here for you. Uh, the feather happens to be appropriately a falcon feather for our falcon. And I'll uh, drop the two of them here and hopefully they'll hit the ground at the same time. How about that? And my helper here, Jeremiah. We are going to do an experiment today with five steel marbles and ten steel marbles. And we are going to hold them up here and we're going to see which one. Is this one going to fall first? Class? No. no. This one? No. What happens if we drop them at the same time? Are they gonna? What's gonna happen? They're gonna both drop at the same time. They're gonna fall at the same time? No, this one's gonna fall first. This one. Is this one gonna hit the ground first? No. no. Are they gonna fall at the same time? Yes. No. All right. Let's see. Here. Two. Ready? We're gonna drop them. You wanna do it together? You wanna do it on your own? There you go. Hold them up as high as you can. Let's see. Go ahead. Both. All right. Let's try it one more time. We'll count three, two, one. Gravity pull. Nice. They both hit at the same time. So, whose theory is this? What's his name? Rick Crosby. Is it Aristotle? Yes. Is it Galileo? Yes. Galileo wins. Nice job. Boys and girls. Boys and girls, in your book on page 128, you can see that very same experiment. Now all we do is make some observations and collect our data. Okay, if you look in your books, boys and girls, on the top of page 128, there shows a boy pushing a ball in the air. Do you see it? Let's see if we can do that. Ms. Suwaka, I'm going to push this up and everybody say, push up when I do it. Ready? One, two, three. Push up! And pull down. Gravity pulled pull it down. See what it pulled down? So, Underhand, throw it. One, two, three. Pull down. No, she's a push up. And then gravity pulls down. So you're going to do like this. I'll say push up, and she'll say pull down. Ready? One, two, three. Push, push up. up. Pull down. Pull down. Okay, say it on the way down. Maybe we'll try it one more time. Ready? Push up. Pull down. Push up. Pull down. Pull down. All right, push up. Gravity pulls down. Push up. Push up. Pull down. Who can describe the path that ball is making? Oh, is it going like this? Eh? No, no. Is it going like this? Wah, 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 wah. No. Are you sure? I, I bet it's going like this. No. No. no, is it going like this? It's going in upper. Show me with your hands the path of the ball. The path of the ball. From Mr. Crawl. Jeremiah has it. Come here, Jeremiah. Show us. Take the ball and, and show it. Show it. No, we do like this. How does it go? Is it going like that? How's it going? <coughs> up and then, oh, okay. Let's try it. You throw it up and there, let's watch. Up higher, pull down. push up, push up, pull down. Push, push up, up, pull down. down. Got it a little high. Push, push up, up, pull down. down. Push, push up, up pull All right, down. let's do it like in the book. You're the hoop. Make a hoop. You're a basketball hoop. <laughs> Mr. Haka, good luck. Push up. 
Nice job. <laughs> Do me the favor, on your paper, draw the path of the ball going from the push up to the pull down. Nice. So show me push up on one side, right push up. And the other side, push down. Push up. Pull down. Do this with your partner. We're gonna push up. Don't hit the ceiling. But don't throw it straight because it'll be hard to catch. So we want to do one, two, three. I'll say it. Then we'll say push up. And the other person says pull down. Can you catch it? We're gonna watch. So we're gonna demonstrate. Watch. Just be ready to start. One, two, three. Push up. Pull down. Good catch. One more time. Push up. Pull down. Are you guys ready to try it? Yeah. On the count of three. Now, uh, not at the person. <laughs> We're studying Galileo, not Newton. Here we go. Three, two, one. Push up. Pull down. Did we drop in? All right, let's try it again. Ready? It's got to go up. One, two, three. Push up. Yeah. One more practice. Are you ready? One more practice. When you throw it, you say push up. When you catch it, it's say what? Push down. Here we go. One more practice and we'll set our goal. Ready? One, two, three. Push up. Pull down. Do we have any drops? No. All right, here's my goal. We're going to try five times. That's your goal. See if we can make no drops within five tries. Try number one. Here we go. Ready? One. Two, three, push up, pull down. Do we have a drop? Okay, we'll keep trying. Here's our second attempt. Ready? One, two, three, push up, pull down. Talk to your neighbor and tell them a way that you can make it so you don't drop it. Quick. One, two, three, push up, pull down. Oh, almost. We only had one drop. Here's our fourth attempt. We have two more tries. Ready? I will tell you, no class has done this in five. I'm just saying, maybe you'll be the first. Gravity. It's a law. Ready? One, two, three. Push up. Oh, we dropped one. Last try. Last try. Here we go. We're going for the world record here. Ready? Three, two, one. Push up. Yeah. Pretty close. Let's do one more investigation because so far I've been having all the fun. So you should have some fun. So we need a couple tools. We need a meter stick that looks like this. And everybody, each team will get one of these. Now, uh, when you see this, this is a science tool or instrument, so be careful with it. It unfolds like that, and like that, and like that. And it's got two sides. One side are the inches which we use in a lot of places in the world. The other side is the centimeters, 100 centimeters, okay? We're gonna use the smaller centimeter units, okay? Not the larger inches, got it? Check, check, check. check. So the other thing is we wanna put the one at the bottom. That's a foot. Well, the foot is inches. We're gonna use centimeters. It goes all the way to 100. So would you come here for a second and help me? Come here, yeah. Stand next to me right over here. All right, so hold that. So we're gonna set this against the wall. You're gonna be in teams. Should the one be all the way at the floor? Yes. Yes, okay. So there's my one at the floor. I'm gonna tape it. Give me another piece of tape. Thank you. Hold that. And I'm gonna put one right about here at 50 centimeters. Got it? Okay, now what I want you to do is it's come over here. It is a bit crooked. I want you to hold the ball at 50 centimeters. Where do you think that is? Take it down on your knees and hold it. Move back just a little bit. We're going to drop it from right here, 50 centimeters, right about there, okay? And it's going to bounce. Do you think it's going to bounce really high? No. Would you come here, please, and get down and, and lay down on the ground right there? Now, you see how high it bounces. So there's going to be two people working together. You guys come on around behind me and look this way from behind me. Ready? Three. You watch how high it bounces. Two. One. Drop. How high did it bounce? About. In the book it says only do it once. We're going to do it five times. Let's do it again from 50. Move your knee back. Three. Two. One. Drop. How high did it go? 27. 27 what? Bananas? Uh, 
Not inches, what class? Centimeters. Centimeters. How many? 27? Mm -hmm. What? Centimeters. Centimeters. Let's do it again three times. Three, two, one, drop. How many that time? 27. 27 what? Bananas? Centimeters. 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 How many more times are we going to do it? No. Two more times. Here we go. Three, two, one. Um, yeah, but you know, did you notice he pushed it that time? Did you push it that time or let gravity? Would it be a fair test if you push it? Would it be a fair test if you push it? No. No, we want to just drop it. Let's do that one over again. Hold it from the top like that. Three, two, one, drop. Wow, what was that? Um, if you don't know, we'll just do a redo. It's okay to do a redo. But he said 26. Let's do the last one at 50. Ready? Three, two, one, drop. What was that? 28. But he got his hand in the way. Is that a fair test or should we do it over again? Over. Let's do that over. Let's do a do over. Three. That's okay. You're not in trouble. <laughs> but scientists do have do overs to make a fair test. Three, two, one. Was that a do over? No. <laughs> yeah. Slipsies. Slipsies. Three. Two, one. 27 centimeters. Now, in the book, it says after we do five like that, guess where we're going to drop it from? Anybody know? The top. top. From 100 centimeters. So stand up and come out. Three. Wait. Will that be higher, lower, or the same? What do you think? Higher. I tell you what, I'm not going to tell you the answer. You have to find out for yourself. So let's go back to your seats and get the materials, and let's start it on your own. Twelve what? Twelve Excellent. So this has been an awesome lesson on what is gravity and with these young students and this teacher we've learned a lot. Gravity. It's a law. Obey the law.